Good morning. Welcome back to Market Monday, and thank you for joining me each week. My name is Brenda Kilburn, and I'm with the Danbury Company, and I'm here to chat with you this morning about what's happening in our housing market locally and a little bit about the national housing market. So you can see from this slide, this is the one we always start with. This is what's happened in our local housing market in the last seven days. Northwest Ohio region, uh, Upper Wood County, Lucas County, our um, region is combined. And you can see that we had 73 sellers last week commit to putting their house on the market available for sale and 154 new listings um, new houses that are going to be available for buyers. So this is super exciting. It's 229. That number's up from 219 from the week before. We also had 225 houses that sold last week, which that number is important because it's less houses than we actually brought on the market. So we have been running with a little bit of a shortage inventory and so we are looking for the coming soon in the new listings to outpace that sold number. We did have 203 houses that went under contract last week and we had 78 that went pending. Pending is a status that we use between the time from contingent until the time that they close. All the contingencies have been removed. The house is now pending and it's ready for closing. Or we get some cash buyers in this market that we have today. And if it goes straight to pending, it's because there's no contingencies, cash offer going straight to closing. So that's what those numbers represent. So let's talk a little bit about Oregon. Oregon has 10 houses available right now on the market. That number is actually down from 15 last week. So we do need some more houses in Oregon to sell. And we have five in the coming soon status in Oregon. Three new listings last week three new coming soon, so six added to our um, inventory, but we had eight that went under contract, three that went to pending, and we had three that sold and closed. So that's why we're down a little bit to 10 in the Oregon um, number of homes that are available. In Point Place, we have 11 that are on the market available for uh, sale and one in the coming soon status. Three new ones last week, two coming soon last week, four that went contingent, three that went pending, and two that sold and closed. The number of sold and closed in Oregon and Point Place this past week are both down from the week before, which is kind of unusual because last week was the last week of the market and those numbers are usually higher. But we are seeing a decrease in the number of days that it's taking to sell a house or the number of days on a market. And you can see in February, we were down 5.8%. And it was taking about 65 days to sell, to put house on the market and sell it and close. So um, that's about how long it does take to sell a house right now in our market. In February, we had 650 new listings and that number was down a little bit from February of 2021. And the total number of home sales was 611. And that number was also down from February of 2021. So just kind of doing a year over year comparison. And then we want to talk about the spring market update. So there's a whole lot going on. Interest rates, inflation and inventory. I'm going to talk a little bit about inventory today. And then we'll be doing some other videos right here shortly probably this week and next week about what's happening with inflation and what's happening with the interest rates because it's important for you to have an overall picture of what's happening in the market if you're thinking about buying or selling. So um, Mike Simmons from Alto's Research, he this is a direct quote from him. We keep watching for it. There are absolutely no signs of a market slowdown anywhere in the data that we're seeing. Um, everybody's concerned. Everybody's asking questions. What's happening in the market? How are things going to shake out? Are we going to get our prices going to continue to go up? Is inventory going to go up? Is it going to go down? Lots of questions. So, but what we are actually seeing is that the market continues to just heat up. So there's nothing in the market right now showing that things are slowing down. And so we want to take a look at the number of houses available. You hear about this inventory shortage and that we don't have enough houses to sell. So the number of active listings that we have on the market, so in February, 
1,000 houses across the United States compared to February of last year, which was 498,000, 100,000, sorry. Um, and so the number of houses, act, you can see the decline. So starting in September of last year, 621, October 612, November, December, we get into January, we were down to 409, February, we we're down to 306. So those numbers are definitely lower, the number of active listings on the market available for buyers to buy. So that number is lower, but what we have to take into account is that we hit an active or a, um, all uh, 15 year record high in home sales in 2021. So this is important because we are selling more houses than any time in the last 15 years. But this is the slide that's super important. Where these active houses are coming from, these record number of home sales are just from our inventory. So if you look at this and we went all the way back to 2017 with this, the green represents the carryover houses that did not sell that go into the inventory for the next month. The blue are the new listings. So in 2017, you can see we had huge carryovers. Houses were not selling fast. They were selling in three to six months. So we had a ton of carryover inventory every month and we were getting a ton of new listings. So the actual number of new listings hasn't dramatically changed. It was 517 in 2017, we were at 382 in 2018, 414 in 2019, 2020, 397, 2021, 359, 2022, 326. So this number hasn't changed much recently in the last few years, but 2021 with our record number of sales that we just talked about, so we had our highest year in 15 years for the number of sales right here, 2021, you can see they're coming from the new, mostly the new listings because our carryover is now only like 83 compared to 703 or 748 or 786. So if you are thinking about selling your home, it is an amazing time to sell your home. We are getting very creative. We're doing lots of creative things to help you sell your home and to help you find your new place of where you're gonna go, because that's been one of the big concerns. But we're selling more houses, even though the inventory is a little bit lower, most of the inventory shortage is coming from that missing carryover. So this is really important to keep that in mind when you're thinking about selling. If you're having any thoughts about buying or selling, my spring buyers and seller guides are here. They are free. Feel free to reach out, call, text, email, and I will send you a copy of my buyer guide, again, free. And it's got a ton of useful information about spring housing market, selling or buying in 2022. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you back here next Monday. God bless.